What's up, guys? John here. Sharice. And we are here with another episode of Cupid's Corner. So we want to thank you guys for joining us all the time and learning these tips and tricks that should help your relationship. Uh, it'll help you get to the next level, hopefully. It'll help hopefully ignite that spark that maybe was diminished out or wasn't as strong as it used to be before. Mm -hmm. So we have learned these different things through our relationship in 12 plus years going on. And you know, it's trials and tribulations. You gotta work through some of these things, mm -hmm. but you learn some great things along the way, especially if you stay together, right? And that's, that's the object, to have passion and be able to stay together for a long period of time and grow old together. Stick it out. That's what they say in the movies, right? We're gonna go old with you together. I can't wait till I'm on like a little rocking chair. We're like rocking and just like, oh, this has been <laughs> such a great experience. Hopefully we'll have bionic bodies by that point, okay? <laughs> I don't want to be sitting we'll see here. John, 90 years old, hopping around the backyard. You cute. know I like the new toy, so hopefully they'll have some good technology, and I'm <laughs> sure they will. But, you know, this show, we really want to cover, you know, a couple different things. One, um, kissing or being intimate with your partner. So this is good, and this is good for your health. Um, this actually ups oxytocin in, in the brain, in the body, and it lowers cortisol. So if you don't know what these things are, oxytocin is the happy hormone. Yes. Right? And cortisol is the stress hormone. Mm -hmm. Nobody, I mean, all of you guys, I'm sure, with everything going on, at some point in the past three months, your cortisol levels have probably been elevated because Absolutely. of the stress, you know? Absolutely. From work, your kids, personal things might be going on with mm -hmm. you and stuff like that. So, you know, you want to be intimate with your partner and kiss your partner and you might not know it, but you're actually helping yourself. Mm -hmm. And it does burn a little bit of calories. It's not a lot of calories, but it is, I guess it is some, but you can't, you know, that's not giving you a permission to eat junk food and be like, oh, well, I'll just kiss a lot more. No, that's not the kiss is... The kisses turn into other things that are cardiovascular activities, oh. and then you can go eat a piece of cake. And then you can actually tell if you have the stamina or not, I guess, and if you need to work on your endurance or not, right? And we have things that maybe can help you do that too. But, you know, it really comes down to that. So be intimate with your partner, kiss your partner, right? Because you'll obviously be helping yourself. So oxytocin, like I said, it's the, it's the happy hormone. It's the bonding hormone. Um, it's something that opens up trust with your partner okay um it, it, it's good for a lot of different things it's neurotransmitter as far as that goes and then you have cortisol so cortisol gets a bad rap mm -hmm. right? you're going to put some cortisol in it's going to go in the bloodstream now at high levels of anxiety or stress you're going to release more cortisol into the bloodstream and that can actually be bad for your health mm -hmm. right um and this can cause anxiety it can cause you to retain water or you know fat deposits you know at that point so you want to make sure that you're getting a good stress reliever too mm -hmm. if you're having all this stress and a lot of people are having stress right now so lower cortisol levels increase oxytocin levels and you guys should be good to go at least in that department anyway right <laughs> so that's one thing and if we're going to talk about hormones like oxytocin and mm -hmm. cortisol we might as well talk about how hormones affect relationships because mm -hmm. it does affect relationships okay? on many levels and this can be emotionally physically mentally yeah. um when i say emotionally i mean a lot of females out there even guys but a lot of females and guys could be either super moody because their hormones are off or they could be really emotional because their hormones are off and so you have to remember that you know say you guys have been intimate for five six seven eight nine ten years whatever and for some whatever reason, you guys drop off and it's like, well, what's going on? That could very well be a problem. Yes, absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. Your partner might be feeling like, why is this, you know, my partner being distant from me? Might what's going on? Fault. Is it me? Mm -hmm. What are they doing? What's mm -hmm. going on? It, it wasn't like this. And all of a sudden now it's, it's, it's gotten this bad pattern here, mm -hmm. you know, and then that's not good because, you know, people like affection, right? Especially when you're in this relationship and if it's been going on for that long. Um, now, hormones affect the body in different ways, right? We know that from the brain to the cardiovascular system, your metabolism, uh, keeping lean body mass on, you know, just feeling good all overall, mm -hmm. right? But hormones can obviously damage a relationship too because if the hormones are off, people might be moody, like you said, mm -hmm. and then your partner might feel some type of way about it and right. then they might go a different route. Right. So, I mean, hormones... Or you might, even, you might not even be interested in the bedroom. Yes. That's a big one. Yes. Especially for females. I'm yeah. just speaking from a female's perspective. Yeah. But if for whatever reason, let's just say that he doesn't want to be intimate anymore and, you know, it's just... He usually got to 
one person's got to start it or another. But if they don't want to be inter- like intimate with you anymore, then you kind of feel like maybe you did something wrong and you guys haven't fought, nothing's going on, and you're saying, well, I hope it's not someone else. Right. Now you start thinking all these crazy things, which is never a good thing when it could just very well be low testosterone for a guy. Right. I mean, uh, now our hormones can be affected with different things out there. It, it's not something you did, per se. Mm-hmm. Now, it can be toxins in the environment, you know, our foods that we're eating from our food sources, uh, EDCs, endocrine disrupting chemicals mm-hmm. in the air that, that could be affecting you or putting on your body that we're absorbing mm-hmm. that could be affecting hormones, and we see this. We know that hormones are going to decline with age for males and females. You know, mm-hmm. we're going to deteriorate and die. It, it's a fact of life, you mm-hmm. know. You know, you're going to pay taxes and, and you're going to die. <laughs> two things they say that's guaranteed, right? That's what you got to look forward to. But, for sure. you know, so you want to live your best life and most, you know, the quality of life. And that's where hormones can come into play, too. So mm-hmm. hormones can actually help a relationship. So a lot of guys that, you know, they have low testosterone, they might be feeling depressed or, uh, you know, their libido's down or... They just don't feel like themselves, right? They're Motivation, right? drive. Concentration. Yep. You know, all that stuff's there, and they're rare to go. So at that point, or the energy, fatigue, too, that's yeah. another one. Um, so if they you know, go in and they get blood checked and they get their testosterone levels optimized or back where it needs to be, everything comes back, mm-hmm. right? So now you got one partner that is optimized and ready to go. <laughs> this happens then, often. And this does happen a lot. We get a lot of patients <laughs> where the male comes in, right? And he gets optimized, he gets feeling back to him, his old self, and we're raring to go. And then, you know, the wife, you know, she's about the same age. And Surprise. at that point, you know, he's wanting to go all the time and have a good time. And, <laughs> you like, know, she's like, oh, my God, what's going on here? I just don't feel the same, right? And that's where they usually call up and they say, hey, listen, we want to get help just like my husband or significant other got help. Right. We want to be at that level. We want to feel good like that. We want to get back that feeling. Mm-hmm. And that's where we usually help out couples, and that usually makes a relationship better. We've changed a lot of relationships like that. Yes, yes. It's, it's helped a Very lot rewarding. of different relationships. Um, plus, it, it helps their quality of life. So mm-hmm. you're not even just helping the relationship, but their day-to-day life. Yep. So going to work, all that jazz. Getting up, I mean, you know. Being interested in the things you used to do, you know, I mean, that's that's another thing that a lot of people lose sight of. Like, oh, I just don't want to do it no more. There might be a reason why. Or, right. You know, if you're feeling depressed. So, I mean, that's, that's really where it is. And, you know, hormones can, you know, disrupt at all different ages. So, people think it's got to be a specific age. Mm-hmm. At 30 years old as a male or, you know, for girls it, it might be, you know, 36 or whatever it might be. But, you know, like I said, hormones can be disrupted at all different ages. Mm-hmm. Now, especially for females. Let's talk about pregnancy in females. So we know when, you know, pregnancy happens, all different hormones are going on, mm-hmm. right? And then after birth, you know, they usually have depression, mm-hmm. right? Not all the time. Sometimes. 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 Definitely going to feel off because your body just went through, you know, this huge change. Well, think about the hormones. Right? Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of different hormones that are going on at that point. You know, waiting until afterwards, having the baby, making sure you, if you're going to breastfeed and stuff like that. And then mm-hmm. after you're all done with that and it's safe, or if you're using formula, whatever it is, get your hormones checked, see right. where they're at. Um, and at that point, you guys can adjust them and get back to feeling the way that you wanted to, get that baby body off, right? Because, I mean, girls want that. They're like, you know, I gained so much weight, or I only gained 10 pounds, but I want to get this baby weight off. We have a lot of females that go through that. It, it, it's, it's a fact of life. Right. That, you know, that's what we're here. It's, as we procreate, and that's what it's going to do. It's going to affect hormones. Not 22 having a baby anymore, you know? I was 22 when we had our son. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody always forgets that me and John do have a little baby boy. Not so little. He's going up. About to be 11. 11 next 11 week. 11 years old. 11 next week. I, my body did pretty bounce much back. bounce back to some degree. Absolutely. But when you're pregnant, you're around your 30s, and you have a baby, it might be a little bit more complicated to bounce back you might not just bounce back <laughs> i mean there's a hormone correction that went on though females have different things like pcos mm-hmm. uh, or these different things that could be affecting their hormones um, so everybody's different and that's where blood testing will really tell you what's going on inside your body and it's not a cookie cutter thing so you want to make sure that everybody's taking care of you if that's what it is uh, if you want help with your hormones you can always call or text us at Titan Medical Center, 727-389-3220. Um, check out our website, www.titanmedicalcenter.com. And always great content and things will entertain you on our Facebook, uh, Instagram page, TikTok, 
You know, we've That's got, a new one. We've got Twitter. So please go there, subscribe. YouTube has all our great videos. We've been open for over eight plus years now. So it's a lot of different content, instruction videos on some of the medications, um, lifestyle videos, just us out and about, having fun at some of the Type Medical Center events. You'll see a lot more of this around town or around the state of Florida. So get ready. Type <laughs> Medical Takeover is in full effect. So we want to thank you for tuning in to thank another you Cubist guys. Corner. Every Sunday at 11 a.m. Yep. on ABC. Type Medical Health and Lifestyle Show. We are here for you guys. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. <laughs>